The last section of the chapter one is adiabat. First, let me explain what is the adiabat is and why it is important. In the majority of the mental, conductive heat transfer is not significant due to the low thermal conductivity of mental rocks, and therefore the convective heat transfer dominates. The conductive heat transfer is still significant in the lithosphere, uh, subducted slope, and DW prime layer. However, in the majority of the mantle, the convective heat transfer is significant. When uh, the con convective heat transfer dominates, how the uh, temperature changes by uh, ascending and descending without heat. When uh, ascending, the pressure decreases, then volume increases, then a work is done to the outside, then the uh, the mantle rock decreases its the internal energy. As a result, temperature decreases. The adiabat is the temperature gradient by pressure change at constant entropy, namely without heat. The adiabatic geotherm is the temperature distribution in the earth without heat round t over round z at uh, s. Then let us derive the adiabatic gradient. First, let us consider the entropy s is a function of the temperature t and the pressure p. Therefore, the total derivative of the entropy s is equal to the partial derivative of the deriva uh, partial derivative of the entropy S with respect to the temperature T at constant temp pressure P times dT plus the partial derivative of the entropy S with respect to the pressure P at constant temperature T dP. Equation 1.5.1. Then we apply the Maxwell's relation from the Gibbs free energy G, equation 1.1.27, which is the partial derivative of the entropy S with respect to the pressure P at constant temperature T is equal to minus the partial derivative of the uh, volume V with respect to the temperature T at constant pressure P. Therefore, the red part of the equation 1.5.1 is res, uh, replaced by uh, this uh, term. Then, we have the, past, uh, the total derivative of the entropy S is equal to the partial derivative of the entropy S with respect to the temperature T at constant pressure P times dt minus the partial derivative of the volume V with respect to the temperature T at constant pressure P times dp. Equation 1.5.2. At a constant entropy S, namely ds equals 0, uh, we have 0 equal the partial derivative of the entropy S with respect to the temperature T at a constant pressure P dT minus the partial derivative of the volume V with respect to temperature T at constant pressure P dP. Then the partial derivative of the uh, temperature T with respect to the uh, pressure uh, P at constant temperature, a uh, constant entropy S is equal to the ratio of the partial derivative of the volume V at constant temperature T at 
uh, uh, with respect to temperature T uh, at a constant temperature P to the partial derivative of the entropy S with respect to the temperature T at constant pressure P. Equation 1.5.3 then the from the definition of the isobaric heat capacity uh, cp is defined as temperature t times the partial derivative of the entropy s with respect to the temperature t at constant pressure p equation 1.2.4 uh, we have the partial derivative of the entropy S with respect to the temperature T at a constant pressure P is equal to the isobaric heat capacity Cp divided by the temperature T. Equation 1.5.4 And from the definition of the thermal expansivity equation 1.28 the alpha is defined as 1 over V times the partial derivative of the volume V with respect to the temperature T at constant pressure P. Then uh, the partial derivative of the uh, pressure, uh, volume V with respect to the temperature T at constant pressure P is equal to alpha times volume V. Then we, we substitute the equation 1.5.4 around the partial derivative of the temperature T with respect to the pressure P at constant entropy S is equal to the partial derivative of the volume V with respect to the temperature T at constant pressure P divided by partial derivative of the entropy S with respect to the temperature T at constant P, then this part becomes uh, alpha V and the denominator becomes Cp over T. As a result, uh, this uh, quantity becomes the, uh, the, iso ther uh, the thermal expansivity alpha times the volume V times the temperature V divided by the isobaric heat capacity Cp. Equation 1.5.6. And uh, because the volume is a reciprocal density, therefore the uh, temperature derivative of the uh, the partial derivative of the temperature with respect to the pressure P at constant entropy S is equal to the thermal expansivity alpha times the temperature T divided by the density rho divided by the isobaric heat capacity Cp. Equation 1.5.7. So we have obtained the, uh, ad the adiabat adiabatic temperature gradient like this using a volume or like this using the uh, de uh, density rho. Then let us obtain the adiabatic geothermal gradient. Let us consider a, a vertical disk with a thickness dz and a area a and the density rho in the earth. Because of the gravity, uh, this disk applies force underneath and the uh, gravity force Df is equal to the density rho times the area A times the uh, thickness dz times the gravity acceleration z because the
the、uh, volume of this disk is the area times the thickness and the volume times、uh, the density is the、uh, mass of the this,、uh, disk and mass times the gravity acceleration is force pulled by the earth. Then a、uh, pressure increase with、uh, depth z is the, uh, uh, this force df divided by the area a and df is equal to the density rho times the area a times the thickness dz times the gravity acceleration g divided by the area a Which is equal to the density rho times the gravity acceleration g times the thickness dz. Therefore, the、uh, derivative of the pressure p with respect to the depth g z is equal to the density rho times the gravity acceleration g. Equation 1.5.9. From the equation 1.5.9, this one, and the equation 1.5.7, adiabatic, temp adiabatic temperature gradient、uh, round T over round P at S, the thermal expansivity alpha times the temperature A. Divided by the density rho, divided by the icebaric heat capacity Cp, we have the adiabatic geothermal gradient, the partial derivative of the temperature with respect to the depth z at constant entropy s as the,、uh, the adiabatic temperature. Gradient with pressure times the pressure increase with depth z, depth z, then the former factor is the thermal expansivity alpha times the temperature T divided by the、uh, density rho divided by the isobaric heat capacity Cp times the density rho. Times the gravity acceleration g, then which is equal to the thermal expansivity alpha times the gravitational active,、uh, acceleration g times the temperature t divided by the isobaric heat capacity Cp, equation 1.5.10. So this is the adiabatic geothermal gradient. So, we have learned the adiabatic geothermal gradient in the mantle is、uh, expressed by the thermal expansivity times the gravity acceleration g times the temperature t divided by the isobaric heat capacity Cp. Among these factors, we have learned that the Iceberg heat capacity does not vary so much at high temperatures, and the gravity acceleration is nearly constant in the mantle. It decreases quickly to zero in the core, but、uh, it is nearly constant in the mantle. Therefore, the、uh, thermal expansivity alpha is the key parameter to an Obtain the adiabatic geothermal gradient. So, this is a, a variation, variation of the thermal expansivity of the mantle minerals in the mantle. This、uh, region is oiling from a surface to 14 depth, and this region was r i g h t from 14 to 520 km depth, and from here to here, r i n g w o o d i t e from 550 to 660, 
and below 660. It's a bridge manite stability field. You can see thermal expansivity in general decreases with increasing pressure or increasing depth. In contrast, uh, in associated, associated with the phase transition, the thermal expansivity increases. Then, uh, this slide shows the comparison of the adiabatic gradient and the thermal expansivity. Adiabatic uh, gradient you can clearly see the adiabatic gradient and the thermal expansivity shows the similar uh, in increase and decrease. So adiabatic gradient starts from a, a 10, 0 0.6 Kelvin per kilometer and it decreases to 3.0.35 Kelvin per kilometer and it increase, generally increase in the mental transition zone and it reaches uh, 0.48 at 660 km discontinuity and which decreases gradually to the bottom of the mantle and it becomes 0.25 Kelvin per kilometer. This is thermal expansivity. It starts from uh, 5 times 10 to minus 5 per Kelvin and decreases to 0 0.25 and it decreases in the mental transition zone, reaches 3.2 10 to minus 5 Kelvin and decreases to 1.2 uh, 10 to minus 5 Kelvin. Then uh, let us obtain the adiabatic geothermal in the Earth's mantle. We have uh, adiabatic geothermal gradient, but this is just a gradient. Therefore, we need one a fixed point of temperature at a given depth to draw the adiabatic geothermal in the mantle. Uh, in, uh, my, in one st my study, the, uh, we, I estimated the temperature at the 14 km discontinuity to be 18.05 plus minus 18 Kelvin by comparing the phase relations of the olivine wazirite transition with the uh, 14 km discontinuity depth because uh, it is usually constant, the 14 km discontinuity is attributed to the uh, olivine wazilia transition. So uh, this, is, uh, this diagram shows such a geothermal gradient, geoth uh, adiabatic geothermal. Red one is uh, my uh, least, uh, current study. So uh, we have a 14 km discontinuity depth here, and here 4, 520, and here 660. It gradually increase, and uh, at the phase transition from olivine to wazirite, and wazirite to ringodite, uh, it is an uh, exothermic phase transition, therefore temperature uh, abruptly increase. And from ringwoodite to bridgemanite plus pericles is an endothermic phase transition, therefore temperature decrease. Then uh, after that temperature in the mantle gradually increase and reaches uh, 2500 Kelvin. I published uh, uh, similar studies 10 years ago and this uh, paper was very frequently uh, cited, but unfortunately, I found uh, I made miscalculation in this paper. This is the 
reason why I'm preparing the revised version of uh, this adiabatic Jordan paper. In any way, uh, this is the uh, end of uh, section 5 of the uh, chapter 1, the adiabat.